Josh Williams, the 30-year-old from Port Charlotte, Florida, has been in NASCAR for longer than you may think. He's clinched up two victories in the Arca Menard Series and has spent over five years in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. But the 2023 Spring Atlanta race changed his NASCAR career forever. And let's take a look on how that happened. With 14 laps to go in the first stage, the 02 of Kyle Weatherman lost it and made the whole field stack up behind him, and the 92 of Josh Williams slammed into the rear of another car, destroying his front hood. His pit crew went to work trying to fix the front of his car, and it was 53 degrees in Atlanta this day. They call Atlanta Hot Atlanta, so 53 is fairly cold. And while they were trying to put the bear bond in the tape, it was too cold and the bear bond and tape just wouldn't stick together. That's how cold it was. The tape flew off of his car. There was nothing he could do about it because it was not warm enough for it to stick to the actual race car. But nonetheless, they went green. And then the caution came out for debris on the racetrack. The debris was for the 92 of Josh Williams. NASCAR said that Josh Williams was purposely trying to delay the race and they said, okay, buddy, you're out of the race. And he said, you want me to park it? Oh, I'll park it. He parked his 92 machine on the start finish line and walked to the garage, waved to the fans, and NASCAR did not like that. There was nothing that Josh Williams could have did differently in this situation. This is honestly NASCAR's fault for not realizing that the bear bond and tape would not stick due to it being so cold. And it was like, it was 53 degrees and the wind was blowing at 12 miles per hour. So that's colder than 53 degrees, I'll tell you that right now. NASCAR had to enforce the rules about parking on the start and finish line, obviously, and had to suspend Josh Williams. They probably would have just fined Josh Williams if Denny Hamlin did not make the comment on Twitter to Josh Williams when he said, I'll pay your fine. After this incident, Josh Williams finished his season, you know, somewhat normally. Three top tens to close out the season. That is pretty good. Josh Williams would finally get his big break, though, on November 10th, 2023, when it was announced that he would drive the number 11 for Colleg Racing full-time in the Xfinity series in 2024. This is a huge opportunity for Josh Williams. He has never raced in a championship caliber team. Now he has the chance to prove to us that he's more than a one and done and more than five minutes of fame with the start and park on the start finish line. And he's going to prove what he can do in more than one series. It was announced not too long ago that he would race part time in the cup series with Colleg Racing in the number 16. And his first race in the cup series with Colleg Racing is in the clash at the Colleg Coliseum. Josh Williams here. Proud to have our sponsor, Alloy Employer Services, with us. It's been with me for many years. They've been at the highest of highs, the lowest of lows. Now we're going to take them all the way to the top. Just to think, if Josh Williams never did that stunt he did at Atlanta Motor Speedway that spring, he would never have this opportunity with Colleg Racing because his name would have never been in the mainstream media. He would have never got the attention of Matt Colleg or Chris Rice. Josh is an amazing guy. He is known for going to children's hospitals and bringing the cars, dressing up in the fire suit just to try to get their mind off everything that's going on and just trying to put a smile on their face. You know, I feel like you can use this as an example to prove that good karma does exist. Congratulations on your opportunity, Josh. I hope you do big things in 2024.